Lakeland PBS presents Common Ground, brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Production funding of Common Ground is made possible in part by First National Bank Bemidji, continuing their second century of service to the community, a partnership for generations. Member FDIC. Welcome to Common Ground. I'm producer-director Scott Knudsen. In this music episode, singer-songwriter Dennis Warner shares his rich storytelling style. Also, Olivia Skaya fiddles outdoors for us in Grand Rapids. Well, I'm Dennis Warner and I'm a singer-songwriter based here in Minnesota. I've spent a lot of time in northern Minnesota. I'm just such a fan of Bemidji and public television and I couldn't miss this opportunity to come here in Bemidji and talk to you today. Acoustic, Americana, folk, uh, singer-songwriter, those are all labels I guess that have been upon me throughout my career. I kind of think of myself as just a folk singer but everybody else sees a little bit something different in what I'm doing. And I kind of like that I'm not genre specific, you know, that people see different things in me because that's what music is you know you write a song it's a personal song about something and then other people interpret it differently so if the style is a little bit different too that's kind of cool and, and just kind of broadens your audience a little bit too. Well Sweet Northern Home I started writing that song as a student here at Bemidji State and it's sat in a notebook for years probably a decade before I ever really did anything with it and we were at our family cabin down by Bacchus and Tammy and I woke up to this this noise of outside and didn't know what was going on like six in the morning or five in the morning and we, we stepped outside and here was an eagle trying to teach its young how to fly or something there was, a, there was an adult eagle and then two baby eagles sitting in the top of the biggest white pine on the lake and the, the adult would dip down and come back up and then the babies would do that and they were like teaching how to fly and so then all of a sudden I, I figured I got to incorporate that in that song so Sweet Northern Home is written about northern Minnesota so that's why I wanted to do that song here it's very special to this to this region there's nothing like the sound of the morning with the sweet smell balsam and pine Waking up not feeling hurried Ooh, Waking up on sweet northern time Hear the eagle high in the white pine Teaching Young, how to fly in a loon, lonesomely singing as dawn breaks the new morning sky. Ooh, up in the hills, that's where I run to, away from the city life. Escaping the blues Up in the woods Away from the phone And sometimes with friends Sometimes alone And all my desires Wherever I roam Are here by the fire sweet northern home and nighttime reflects off the water the 
North Star floats over the trees A quarter moon lazily rises Ooh, Almost like magic to me And I think of the dreams that keep running just out of the reach of my hand Still there's one dream I truly believe in And I live it here again and again Oh, up in the hills Now that's where I run to Away from the city life Escaping the blues Up in the woods Away from the phone Sometimes with friends And sometimes alone And all my desires Wherever I roam here by the fire in my sweet northern home All my desires, my sweet northern home I love my sweet northern home I've been involved in music, I think, all my life. My dad was a semi-pro country western musician and singer-songwriter, and he would always be playing around the house, so I'd be singing, and probably before I was talking, I was singing. I always loved music. I kind of started writing my own songs from high school on. and didn't necessarily feel that I was writing really good material until I was well into my 30s, probably. And then finally got some things figured out. And by that time, I'd been studying with a lot of great songwriters and taking songwriting workshops out of Nashville with different people. One More Angel is a song that I wrote for my wife Tammy's grandpa who died. And then some years later here, when my mom passed away about three years ago, we sang that at her funeral. She always liked that song, and, and we had some of the best musicians in Minnesota show up for her funeral, came and supported me. And if you're familiar with Cat Perkins, she, she sang that song with me. I didn't know if I'd be able to make it through it, if I'd be able to sing it at my mom's funeral. So she learned it, and then we... I did, I did really well with the emotional state, and then she sang harmony, but so that just is a very powerful song to me, yeah, One More Angel. You'll be there with the blossoms of the springtime On the river, shimmering in the sun In the wheat fields, wailing from a distance and in the hope of the good things yet to come Oh, life, life is always changing Never know what's waiting around the bend But I have the faith we'll meet again But until then, one thing I know there's one more angel watching over me One more star in this peaceful midnight sky Oh, there's one more angel watching over me In my heart, love never says good On the mountain, climbing into the clouds On the hillside, winding towards the valley And on the wings of the truth, where there's no doubt 
Oh, love, love is never changing While the mystery of time continues on But I have the faith we'll meet again But until then, one thing I know There's one more angel watching over me One more star in this peaceful midnight sky Oh, there's one more angel watching over me In my heart, love never says goodbye Oh, there's a one more angel watching over us One more star in this peaceful midnight sky oh, There's one more angel watching over us In my heart, love never says goodbye Oh no, love never ever says goodbye One more angel What I discovered happily kids that scared me <laughs> to play for kids. They are fantastic. They love to sing. They want to have fun. What singing for kids really taught me is to tighten up my show. They don't have the patience for me tuning that 12 string and they could care less if it's slightly out of tune. But the experience factor that I get from singing for kids and, and learning how to be a real performer. Prior to doing kids shows, I'd been on stage probably 15, 18, 20 years or something like that before I ever played for kids. And I felt like after a couple of years of kids programs, I felt like I was really becoming a performer and an entertainer. So it's really helped my adult shows uh, just playing for kids. Beads on One String, it's one of the only kids songs that I've written, you know, I think I've written just a few. And it was the very first one that I wrote about our connectedness in the world, like beads on a necklace. We're all different colors, sizes, and shapes, but we're all held together by one string. And the song became a book. The book became a curriculum for elementary schools. It's used now, gratefully, not only around our country, but in other countries as well. I'm trying to teach kids about the negative effects of bullying and the positive effects of feeling this connection that we have to each other. It's an important song. It's definitely uh, took my career in a whole different direction from doing just adult shows and family shows, but, but actually doing kids programs and going into elementary schools and talking to them about bully education and trying to be more positive and being role models and things like that. We're all beads on one string. Every man, every woman, boy and girl Beads on one string We're one world I touch, you touch And we feel so much We hurt and we heal We know love is real you dream, well I dream, and we plan to sometimes scheme how we love to eat, and everyone has to sleep, cause we're all beads on one string, every man, every woman, boy and girl, beads on one string, we're one world. laugh, you cry, guess what, so do I, we cough, we sneeze, into the same air, we all breathe, we trust, we give, and we die after we've lived, we win, sometimes we're gonna lose, we're wearing the same shoes Oh, we're all beads on one string Every man, every woman, boy and girl Beads on one string for one world 
we hug and we need we cut and we bleed somehow we discover that we're so much like each other oh i say yes we are yes we are we're all beads on one string every man every woman boy and girl beads on one string we're one world we're all beads on one string every man every woman boy and girl beads on one string we're one world oh we're all beads on one string we're one world one world oh yes we are probably my favorite part of touring is just the act of getting in the car and going, it's the whole process. And as I'm talking and mentoring, you know, younger musicians who say, oh, I hate touring or I hate staying in hotels and this, that's not me, you know, that's all part of what I'm doing. If you're gonna be a traveling musician, you're gonna have hotels, you know, you're gonna have long drives, you're gonna have lack of sleep. That's just all part of the process. And I've learned to really like most of it. I mean, sure, there's things that aren't much fun, you know, when, you, when your car breaks down in Ogallala, Nebraska, or your transmission drops out of the car at uh, Pierce, South Dakota at five o'clock on a Friday night. You know, there, there's always little challenges that come up, but you know, if you're home, you know, your furnace goes out, your water heater goes out, there's always challenges and things. So. The performance obviously is fun. It's just, it's great to be up on stage and there's so much more to getting to that point and I've learned to just enjoy all of it while I'm on that journey. Thanks so much for watching. Join us again next time on Common Ground. If you have an idea for Common Ground in North Central Minnesota, email us at legacy at lptv.org or call 218-333-3014. To watch Common Ground online, visit lptv.org and click Local Shows. Episodes or segments of Common Ground, call 218-333-3020. Production funding of Common Ground was made possible in part by First National Bank Bemidji, continuing their second century of service to the community, a partnership for generations, member FDIC. Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Common Ground online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.